Hey, this is a toolbox tour of my little road cart, my KRL snap on box. I got a tarp over it because I don't like it to get dirty. Here's the top drawer though. We have half inch drive. Most of my half inch drive is all impact sockets. I do have some over here in the cart that are chrome, but very rarely I use chrome. If I need chrome, I'll, I have them to use, but most of the time I use impact sockets. They're pretty good. All these, actually all but a few of the standard are Harbor Freight. There's a few crap, there's one or two crap that size I didn't have. Most of the metrics mixed in between Harbor Freight, some Snap-on. Um, they're pretty good though, the, the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh ones, those are really good. 3.8 chrome, 6 point, Tecton, uh, Tecton sockets, all these are Tecton. All my metric are 3.8 6 point flint drive, they're snap on. Uh, 6 point, quarter inch, those standard metric, those are snap on. All my impact sockets over here on this side are 6 point. All my 12 point sockets are Tecton. And I got some uh, some chrome 12 point Tectons there. <clears throat> some miscellaneous shot sockets I don't have pegs for. There are some M7 stubby impact sockets, 3H drive, snap on quarter inch extensions. I have 3H drive, standard metric crow's feet from Icon, Harbor Freight. Those are actually really good. I have not, I've used them a bunch, haven't broke one yet. I really like them. Uh, they hold up well, they're pretty good for the money. Here is a on flashlight, it's pretty bright. Um, standard and metric swivel. I believe these ones are, I think these ones are half inch drive. Icon, I got some miscellaneous uh, extensions, adapters, my snap on 14 4 battery ratchet. <laughs> I don't really have a whole lot of ratchets because, well, I mainly use battery, battery tools, but. I do have go-to ratchets. This is my go-to 3H ratchet. Snap-on. I believe this is the very first snap-on ratchet I ever purchased. Got a snap-on long handle flex head, half inch drive. Pittsburgh breaker bar. Let's see what else in here. My snap-on light. My blue point blue, uh, flood light. I really like that. That's about it for that drawer. So down here to the wrench drawer. And take a look at it. Got a half inch drive icon flex head torque wrench, uh, 36 inch snap on pry bar, some line wrenches, some crest wrenches. I got stubby regular wrenches uh, and ratcheting wrenches. Here's my regular ratcheting wrenches. These are all icon flex head ratchet wrenches. Actually, all these are icon. These are all gear wrench. My regular wrenches are snap on. On metric side, of the same them, the icon. Regular stubby and flex head. Some line wrenches, and there's my regular straight gear wrench. Uh, ratcheting wrenches. This drawer, plier drawer. Don't really have a whole lot of pliers, like a lot of people you might think. I just like to keep one, maybe two, sometimes even three pairs of the same, just because I don't like it. It takes a whole lot of room. I don't really need a big array of pliers. Here's my utility drawer, I guess you would say. Got some blue point twist sockets in there. You can put a wrench on, they work good. These are def, def tank pliers. These are connections on the def tank. I even have, uh, there's some blue point uh, filler gauges, C clamps, icon scraper, hose pinch off pliers. These are for radiator hoses, uh, chargers for my flashlights, Matco. Uh, O2 sensor socket, cage bolt socket. I think that was a uh, that was a Sun X. Laying brake tools, long magnet. There's a blue point magnet. I really like this long blue point magnet right here. It'll flex. We're gonna close the drawer. Down to the other drawer. This is just uh, some pullers, cheap Pittsburgh pullers. I don't know if they're good. I haven't used them yet to know. Big crescent wrench. These are my bigger metric wrenches. Most of my other big wrenches are over here in my roll cart. We go down here to my 
I don't know what you'd call this drawer. Hex drawer, I guess. There's some Icon Hex bits. Those work pretty good. A Sun X uh, Torx bit set. Or bit driver set. There's some cheap Harbor Freight sets. Some Snap-on inverted Torx. Drill bits. Wire brushes. Uh, some Craftsman Torx. Or uh, Hex bits. And Pittsburgh Hex bits. Going down this drawer. Plier drawer, or screwdriver drawer, excuse me. Got some snap-on screwdrivers, some craftsman screwdrivers, a few cheap China screwdrivers. And there's two Stanleys in there. Snap-on mini picks. I got snap-on radiator hose pick set. And I got some Icon, Icon picks too. Oh, there's a Husky pick, and most of the rest of them are cheap. These are kind of like snap-on's version of the little spoon seals. But these just come off Amazon. They're pretty cheap like ten dollars but they work sometimes a lot better than uh the hose picks so you don't uh, damage the seal let's see we done been in that drawer here's the big drawer uh irma snap on digital test light battery tester that is a accessory kit from a heat gun there's a def refractometer meter right there that is a Inspection camera, butane torch, infrared thermometer, a tub of towels. That is my multimeter. There's a snap-on tap and diver threading set in there. A two-jaw puller, an expert socket set. I have an 87-piece torch and hex bit blue point set down there. And a set of Icon uh, snap ring pliers. There might be a couple other things in there that I can't remember off the top of my head. There's a 3 8 inch Icon uh, torque wrench. There's some snap on punches, some files, some Pittsburgh hammers, snap on hammer. That's a hyper tough Walmart hammer. It's on sale for like $2, so I got it. Some wire brushes for the drill. Some more pry bars and punches. There's a pipe wrench. And then we go on to the power tool drawer. Got a heat gun. There's a 3 8 Earthquake uh, Harbor Freight Impact. I really like that. There's a half inch driver Earthquake Impact. I just got it today, so I haven't been able to use it yet. But I've heard they're really good. Some cut off wheels, bits from air hammer, racer wheels for decals. Half inch drive Mac, which is the same thing as D Wall Impact Wrench. Come over here to my cart. Got the half inch drive chrome sockets up here. All these are Pittsburgh. I Really don't use them much. I do have them if I need them though. Some light and this magnetic paper towel holder from Harbor Freight. This first drawer is kind of just a junk drawer, really. These uh, extra ratchet wrenches I have, Pittsburgh extra stubby wrenches, more heat gun accessory kits. Keep all my receipts in there. There's some more wrenches and an empty drawer. I'll eventually fill this up, but guys, I'm just starting out in diesel tech and. It'll get bigger as I grow. Here's my old drawer. Got filter wrenches in here. Davco filter wrenches. Got some hacksaw blades. Uh, this is a gear wrench filter strap wrench. That's a stamp on one. Blue point filter wrench pliers. These are junk. These blue point filter strap wrenches. I really don't want to care for them. That's my go-to right there. John Deere. Or uh, I haven't got to use that stamp on one yet, but uh, I have used them before at a previous shop and. I really liked them. And here's some of my bigger wrenches. Uh, these are all standard. I'm going to go up to like two inches in here. There are a few snap on and the rest are just cheap China or Pittsburgh. Ain't nothing real fancy there. That's what I got. Over here I have uh, a couple pry bars. And down here I got some old filter cap wrenches. There's some spare check and impact sockets that I was using too. I was going to replace my Pittsburgh with them, but I like the Pittsburgh better. And some rags. Here's a inch to millimeter conversion table from Tecton. Got that.